How's it going everyone? Today I have another ROM review for the Notes 2. Today we'll be taking a look at the ROM called Liquid Smooth. Big thanks to all the developers and people over at Slimbeam and CyanogenMod for helping develop this ROM. Before you guys start in the comments down below, yes I know my screen is cracked and as I said in my other video, I'll be fixing it really soon. And we'll jump right into this video. So the Liquid Smooth is one of the best ROMs I have ever tried, and I really mean it. I just started with flashing ROMs, but still, I really love it. It's insanely fast because of Slim Beam, and overall it runs amazing. You can flash this ROM on any version of the Note 2, so you have Verizon, AT&T, Sprint, and the national version, pretty much every Note 2. The ROM also comes pre-installed with Nova Launcher, which is really nice. So let me jump into settings and give you guys a little overview. So first you have all the standard features like Wi-Fi, Bluetooth and other stuff. Then we have a dark liquid feature, which if we turn on will make everything darker. I don't know if you can see that, all that wall from the video, but the feature is really cool and I turned it on from time to time. Then we have interface, in the interface you can customize a lot of advanced stuff, so let me just go over them. You have hardware keys, halo options, notification drawer, reset RAM bar, uh, tablet settings, default app grid, clock widget, custom carrier label, low battery warning which is actually really cool as the battery reminder gets really annoying from time to time and finally you have the reverberation multiplier. Up next are the lock screen settings, in here we have the rotation settings, battery status settings, button settings, widget settings, security settings, targets, shortcuts long press, custom background, transparency of the lock screen and finally the text color. Next are navigation settings, in here you can customize your navbar buttons which are the buttons used on the Nexus devices and that's pretty much it. Up next we have performance settings which I wouldn't recommend using unless you are an Android expert and want to overclock your device. You also have Pi Control built into this ROM which is really awesome as I really like using Pi Control. You can change all the settings like style, trigger options and more. Then we have power menu, in here you can customize what you want to see when you hold down your power button. Then we have power widget settings, you can enable and disable it and other awesome settings. We also have quick settings which I really loved, I was messing with these settings all the time. You can customize all the buttons, notifications, styles of the quick settings and more. Overall I really like this section. You also have status bar settings, in here you can customize your battery icon, clock and date, status bar style, notification opacity, you can set up height features, brightness controls and other features. Up next you have the team section, but unfortunately the ROM only comes with one team, which is the stock team. You also have an advanced section, in here you can mess around with your signal and radios, screen, haptic feedback and audio settings. And finally you have the super user settings, which is really cool. And I think I didn't owe you the explanation for this one, right? So anyway guys, my overall opinion. I really like this ROM so far. I haven't noticed any bugs at all and the battery life was excellent. As I said before, the performance was fantastic and I really mean it. You just fly through the operating system and I just love this ROM. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a like and share this video on your social networks. Comment down below with your thoughts and finally be sure to subscribe so you won't miss any of my other videos.